But were you at least looking back or looking forward to coming back to podcasting in the in the future, in the present time? That's what kept me motivated. Very nice. I saw the light at the end of the tunnel, and I'm, I've, I'm through the tunnel. I'm here talking to you guys today, marketing interns. It's glad to be back here. You know, we apologize for the echo. We still haven't taken it away yet, but we're working on it. We're working on it because the door does not have, uh, what is it, bolts? What is it? It doesn't have hanger or, the frame. or hinges. Does the frame have hinges. doesn't have hinges. So, so curtain. Anyways, beam. it's a great transition to. Uh, I don't know if this is a new segment, but definitely a recurring topic. It's the feng shui update. Right now, uh, Andrew, you had just mentioned. You know, like yeah, obviously, I don't have. Uh, we don't have a door, so there is a little bit of an echo. So, but what did we get? What did we gain this week? We gained a throne for our guests. And it's phenomenal. It, trying to describe this, I really can't because it's not mine. Andrew, how do we get this throne? Yes. So the it's throne, a Lord of the Rings throne. Yep. I think the throne came to the Ensera household in um, the early 2000s when Lord of the Rings was most popular, when the movies were still coming out, when the OG movies were coming out. Not The Hobbit. This is Lord of the Rings. But with The Aragorn. Hobbit was good. Man. The Hobbit was good. But this is Aragorn. This is the man, the myth, the legend. The man that really is the epitome of what Lord of the Rings is. And I was obsessed with him. And this chair was up for auction at one of my mom's charitable fundraisers, or my dad's. I can't remember whose it was. But uh, my parents ended up coming home with it. They bid the most, and they came home, and I was wide-eyed, so stoked to have this. And if to describe a little bit, it's about a six-foot uh, chair. that you, it's about, the, the seat sits about two feet high, and then the, the back frame is about six feet high. And there's a crown on the top, flames that look like torches on the side, and then there's Aragorn with a sword, looks like he's stabbing it right into the ground, right into Middle Earth, and a ring in the back because Lord of the Rings, there's got to be a ring inside the chair. Uh, this is just, we, we called, we asked for a throne, and our marketing interns, my father and my mother, came through. And they absolutely delivered. Let's also not forget that... Uh, Viggo Mortensen has his freaking... Uh, that's, that's who plays his, Aragorn. Who plays Aragorn. Signed the thing. So it's, it's a signed Lord of the Rings throne of Viggo Mortensen, uh, Aragorn. It's just phenomenal. It's painted. It's like completely made from scratch leather. We were worried. When you said it was a, like a throne, I was like, okay, like it's probably just... I was ex- um, thinking of like a grand chair, you know, you know something a little more uh, upstage from these Hawaiian chairs. But you d- absolutely delivered on this wooden beast, and I love it, and I cannot wait for our first guest to come in and see, like, okay, please sit here. Because, you know, in our old podcast room, it was, like, just a montage of just garbage in, in the room. It was a shotgun style. You couldn't really do much about it. Mm-hmm. You're like, ah, oh, it was kind of awkward. You never knew where to sat- sit. Now it's quite obvious. We say, hey, sit in the throne. You're our guest. I we treat our guest with the utmost respect. And that gives us a perfect time to transition into our potential uh, next interviewee, which is Giselle. So for future thinkers, uh, the host of a uh, 96.3 radio show, Giselle, she's coming in to the throne. She'll be the first one to sit in it, and we're stoked. So that's a little uh, full disclosure um, preview for podcast potentially 56, maybe 57. Yeah, we don't really know where that's going to shake out, but uh, hopefully she's not listening because then she'll know, and that would suck. So hopefully you're not listening, Giselle. Uh, no worries.